<laughs> yeah, and did you know, man, that like, um, I don't know how this even happened or why this happened, but in the U.S., for whatever reason, coronavirus deaths, like they disproportionately affect black people, like in a really significant way. I just read about that today, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, saw I, I don't know why. I, I really don't know why. I think, I don't know if it's a lack of health care, lack of, um, yeah. um, you know what I mean, awareness in our communities, um, because Maybe. it seemed like... It seemed like a lot of people, especially back home, they didn't take it serious. When Saudi Arabia, for example, was shutting the whole country down, people in America were still on the beach. And I was like, man, one of yeah. us got it wrong. Either Saudi got it wrong and America have it right, or vice versa. And come to find out Saudi, um, China, um, these other countries is locking down their countries, UAE. And while America was just giving too, people, too much freedom is not good. You yeah. know what I mean? It, it comes a time where people have to, you know what I mean, give out fines get tickets out. Like, for right now, I have a curfew. I go outside right now, the police come, boy, they're giving me a $3,000 ticket. Damn! Next, I mean, yeah, $3,000. The next one, they put me in jail. Wow, like that's, and, and, and there's no talking your way out of it. <laughs> yeah, wow, so, damn. So yeah. I don't know. It's sad that it's affecting, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, the, the African-American community, they always get the hard, hit the hardest whenever there's a wave of anything that comes in the States, you know what I mean? And maybe it's a lack of awareness, um, health facilities, people being tested, um, people are afraid. They might not feel like they don't have proper health insurance, so they might feel a cough coming on or a flu coming on, and they're like, you know what? I don't have the money. I got to pay bills. This could be poverty. It can be so many different reasons. And it's sad because America, that boasts to be the big, the strongest country in the world, the richest country in the world, people shouldn't have to be worrying about health insurance. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's sad. Yeah. It's and embarrassing, I to be honest. Yeah. And if I had to kind of, I guess, put my two cents on that, what I think is happening is that a lot of people in obviously impoverished neighborhoods are uninsured, so they don't want to get to, like racked up with medical bills. And then the other things are that there aren't that many great hospitals or any hospitals in sort of in, in the projects, and right? And, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. True. And they, like you said, they don't want to be racked up with the bills. Like a place like Saudi Arabia, I think um, the rest of the world, you know, if there was some negative news coming out of it, they, it would have been all over the world. But now that they're doing something positive, it doesn't matter if you're in Saudi Arabia. You seen you, you guys probably seen some of the videos I put up. I'm talking about of Americans, British, Belgium, mm -hmm. people from all over. That's not even Muslims, but they like, man, I, I was surprised the way Saudi Arabia. Because if anybody go to the hospital, a royal decree from the King Son Man is that everybody must be treated free of charge. Yeah. yeah. You can't ask them how much what's your insurance. No, if they come in sick, you have to treat them. The government mm -hmm. of Saudi is paying for everything. So that's a good thing, you know what I mean? They deliver. I can call a pharmacy right now and say, man, I need Tylenol. They have to deliver. Yeah. You know what I mean? And no, one, and no one's <laughs> asking how are y'all going to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You no, know, we got to pay for the Tylenol. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the delivery fee. But <laughs> yeah. yeah sure. No, but see, the, the Saudi king, that, that's, that's one of the best things. Nobody's doing that. that he, that that's just a real example for, for how to deal with something yeah. like this and how to take care of your people. You yeah, know? yeah he really stepped it up. They really stepped it up. For example, um, any all Saudis that's in work or all the employees, that, especially Saudis, it's their country. They pay the seventy percent, sixty percent of everyone's salaries. Um, nobody's like, for example, business owners are saying you don't have to pay the rent these months. Um, wow. Homes are saying you don't have to pay the rent. It's a, everybody's supportive. That's why I'm sitting here, like chilling. Like man, my coffee shop closed, but the the owner, he's very, he's very, you know, generous. He's like, look, don't worry about paying the rent for. You want to, you don't want to pay for six months. You don't have to pay for six months. He like yeah. even longer. You know what I mean. So this is the support that the people are giving out here, which is good. You know? Wow, it's good. that's really dope. And yeah. it's sad. It's sad when I see people back home on the line crying, and I seen a video where they was giving out parking tickets, wow. and somebody's like, "You mean to tell me you guys are going to really walk around in Philadelphia? I believe just giving out parking tickets. Okay. It's the time that people need to be a little more concerned and a little more compassionate right now. You yeah. know what I mean? It's important. Yeah. I mean, we get that sometimes, like, there are some, like, healthcare practitioners where they're, like, doctors or therapists where they're, like, offering, like, free therapy, they're offering, like, free sessions, they won't even, like, charge your insurance, yeah, and they won't, like, get, yeah, so they won't, like, take a copay or whatever, like, your deductible is, so, I mean, that's really cool, but a lot of times we don't get much of that. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, man. There's a... You, you, you got some good, you got some good, of course, like, you got a lot, of, some good stories coming out, but unfortunately, when, it, when it's society that's based on um, capitalism, Everything yeah. is a business. Yep. You know what I mean? Now people lives are at stake. Don't worry about how they're going to pay. Like treat the people. Everything is not a business all the time. You know what yeah. I mean? Unfortunately, that's how most Western countries are ruling, but just by money. You know what yeah. I mean?